Good afternoon. Uh, here we are at the Teeter's Telescopes Workshop. Uh, we're currently working on a 20-inch F4 Trust Opsonian, and we're in the midst of doing the primary mirror cell install. Uh, so I just wanted to take this opportunity to actually go over our mirror cells here and go over some of the, um, the differences uh, between what we're using and what our competition is using. Uh, but just for starters, what we could do is we could take a look at this 20-inch mirror cell here. Uh, this is the, um, the front side of it the side on which the primary mirror would rest, and the primary mirror will rest on these flotation support triangles. All right, so there's six triangles, each with uh, three points on there, so a true 18-point uh, type flotation cell, and each of the triangles is independent, and it will, um, it, you know, it'll move here, it's nice and smooth, it doesn't get hung up, and that will allow the mirror to be properly supported on the back side of it. Uh, the lower edge of the primary mirror cell. In the case of this particular telescope, the customer has opted to upgrade to the gladder cable sling. So when that upgrade takes place, you have this stainless steel shaft with ball bearings on there and this stainless steel cable. Uh, hard to believe, um, only eighth of an inch, but yet when it rides at the center of gravity from front to back of the primary mirror, it properly supports the lower edge of the primary mirror and keeps it from deforming. Uh, the other nice thing is that because this is on ball bearings, as you collimate the mirror forward, the sling actually moves with the mirror forward. As you collimate backward, the sling moves with the, the mirror in the cell backward as well. So as these are pushed forward and backward when you collimate, this moves with it. All right, so that's very, very important for getting the optimal performance out of your primary mirror. Now just some general construction notes on our mirror cells. They are all aluminum, uh, not steel, like our competition. And they feature a black wrinkle or pebble finish here, a powder coat, a baked on finish on top of the aluminum, right, which is very hard, very durable, uh, very nice too. Aesthetically, we find that this is very pleasing to the eye. And also in terms of construction, each of the corners of this cell features, and also um, joints here in the middle, uh, rivets. So no welding on this. We're using aluminum again here. We could weld, but actually we found that doing the rivets is more than structurally stable enough to hold even the largest primary mirrors that we're using, which tend to be up to 24 inches in diameter. So for this 20-inch mirror, the rivets on this cell are plenty strong enough and also here we'll stop at the nameplate. Uh, these mirror cells are produced for us by light holder optics. Then we have another cell sitting over here where we can see the back side of the cell. Right here this just shows you the uh, three collimation knobs here. Uh, large diameter knobs here. They are threaded and they go th through a threaded portion of the aluminum square stock. All right, so essentially as you turn this you're pushing the mirror forward or as you're loosening it, you're pulling the mirror backward in the mirror cell. So very high quality product. We're very happy with the performance of these and uh, we'll continue to use these for the foreseeable future. Now, one thing you notice too is that the mirror cell is actually rectangular. It is not square. That is because the mirror boxes that they go into do not have a front corner. We clip this front corner here. If we take a look here, the corner would go like that except we cut that corner off. Why do we do that? So that we can lower the eyepiece height at the zenith of all of our telescopes. Uh, sometimes that's the difference for a lot of observers uh, between needing a ladder and not needing a ladder. In this case, this telescope will actually be three inches from here to here. Right, That would have continued the corner three inches lower than it would otherwise be had there been a corner there. And had this mirror cell been a square cell, such as required with uh, wiffle tree supports uh, from some of our competitors. So we've consciously made the decision to go with that type of mirror cell that we're using with a sling and clip this front corner versus leaving the corner and going with a wiffle tree type of mirror cell. So in all we find that this is the best combination of I guess you could say compromises but really this is going to allow you a super performing telescope because you've got the cable sling, you've got the full 18-point flotation cell, plus you've got the corner clipped 
and you've got a lower eyepiece height, so maybe actually you're standing on the ground rather than up on a ladder. So very important for a lot of people. And those are the mirror cells that we're using. And again, we've been very happy with them, and we hope you will be too. Thank you.